What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Miss Shani B, and this is our Ball Alert News Break. Do you want to party like Barbie in Malibu? Well, for a limited time only, you will have a chance to be a real-life Barbie girl in a Barbie's world for only 60 bucks a night. Barbie's life-size dream house has officially been listed as an Airbnb in the heart of Malibu. To commemorate the brand's 60th anniversary, Barbie is offering a two-night stay at her dream house. Booking opens at 11 a.m. Pacific time on October 23rd, and one lucky person will be able to bring three guests for the two-night stay at the three-story, two-bedroom dream house, which is also equipped with two bathrooms, an infinity pool, a hot tub, and a private theater. But as part of the experience, you will also be able to take fencing lessons from a world-class champion, cooking lessons from a famous chef, and a celebrity hairstylist will even drop by for a once-in-a-lifetime makeover. If that wasn't enough, Airbnb will also make a donation to one of the Barbie Dream Gap Project charities on behalf of the Lucky Booker. After a months-long legal battle, the family of the late, great Nipsey Hussle has been granted guardianship of his 10-year-old daughter, Imani. According to court docs, Hustle's mother Angelique Smith and his siblings Samantha and Sam were granted guardianship after they provided enough evidence to back their case. The petition was filed one month after Hustle's untimely death, and at the time, Samantha petitioned for guardianship to ensure the continued stability for Imani, as well as to ensure that she can continue to live with family members with whom she always had close ties. And apparently, the judge agreed. In other news, after working overtime to help Meek Mill get released from prison, Michael Rubin and Rock Nation are looking to help another black man in a similar predicament as a result of the same judge that jailed Meek. In the in the latest case, according to public defender Cheryl Brooks, a man named Maurice Hudson was essentially jailed for his poverty by the controversial judge Janice Brinkley. In February, when Hudson told Brinkley he was struggling to pay his $1,941 debt in court fees, she said it was absolutely necessary to vindicate the authority of the court. So she sentenced Hudson, who is reportedly a father of two young girls with special needs, to an additional one and a half year to three year prison sentence. In light of the incident, Michael Rubin spoke out and vowed to help Hudson in his case. If this doesn't upset you, I don't know what will, he said in a tweet, sharing a clip from an appearance on a criminal justice reform panel. Maurice was sent to prison for 18 to 36 months because he couldn't afford to pay $1,900 in fees while he has two kids at home with special needs. We are on this and this is exactly why we created the Reform Alliance, he said. Meek's lawyer also spoke out about the incident and called for Brinkley to be removed from her post. It's an absolute disgrace that Judge Janice Brinkley continues to sit on the bench and abuse her judicial power, Meek's attorney told Complex. She's displayed unethical behavior in Meek's case and now she's tormenting Maurice Hudson with a lengthy prison sentence, all because he couldn't afford to pay $1,900 in fees and has two children with special needs. Enough is enough. Judge Brinkley must be removed from her position once and for all, he said. Last but not least, Shonda Rhimes is back at it again, securing the bag. According to reports, the television powerhouse has just struck a three-year podcast deal with iHeartMedia. Now, Rhimes will serve as an executive producer for podcasts distributed by iHeart on Shondaland Audio. Podcasting continues to see tremendous growth and I'm excited to partner with iHeart Media as Shondaland expands its storytelling journey into this medium, which has seemed to usher in a unique sense of boldness, intimacy, and connection, Rhymes said. With iHeart Media, we aim to share stories that are engaging, insightful, and reflect a robust worldview while staying true to the authentic storytelling voice that has become synonymous with Shondaland. This new deal comes as the final season of Rhymes' ABC hit show, How to Get Away with Murder, comes to an end. And it's Thursday, so we've got to know, who killed Annalise? Drop your comments down below. I'm Miss Jenny B, and this is your Ball Alert News Break.